rod arsenal that I got. Um, this is a little stand I built. I'm gonna put it over there. Clean them up, it's out of the way. It's pretty nice and easy. And I got all the material from work, the scraps that we had left over. So that's pretty hard. Just buy some screws for it. I'm gonna fill up the first one. This is my Johnny Morris carbon light. I was actually using it this morning, so it's still a little dirty, but uh, Micro Guide 7 6. Uh, heavy, extra fast. Uh, and that's paired with the Kuma Helos, which is, I think, the 7 3 to 1. Uh, this is mainly for my frog in, and then uh, if I want to do some heavy flipping and pitching, maybe some punching, uh, that's what I use this for my latest combo that I got I like it I don't know if it's the brain or what but this makes some weird noises when it casts but casts good so. um, this is a vendetta seven foot medium I believe yeah seven foot medium not micro guys or nothing I don't even know if it's coming micro guys but bought this at a good sale on Walmart there was eighty dollars and this, they had it on sale for 30 so I went ahead and picked it up a couple years ago. I got that with the, the uh, Lose Speed School Tournament SK uh, from Gander Mountain. The first Lose that I've ever bought. Uh, I like this Lose reel a lot actually. Looks decent. Kind of use this for if I want to throw a Texas rig. Maybe a small jig or something. This is kind of an all round rod that I use. But I don't know what I want to throw that day. I usually just grab this one and it handles a lot of the stuff pretty good. So my next rod that I have is uh, this is a Falcon, the Buku Micro. Uh, this one's actually the seven foot uh, medium heavy, the Trap Caster. Yeah, there's a little soft bait on there, but this one's actually really good for crankbaits. You know your medium divers, six to ten foot, your shallow divers. Not you know your really deep ones, but other than that, uh, I went up down the crank page on this one. I have the Fluger Supreme XT on it. I think it's the, yeah the six four to one gear ratio. Very nice. This, this rod right here is a very nice rod. Uh, I actually have another one too. Right now you'll notice that I have a lot of different. Uh, rods and reel combos and it's because um, my very first rod no my very first reel you'll see it coming up it's a uh, it was a Fluger I really enjoyed it it's real smooth um, so I bought a whole bunch of Flugers but now I'm kind of trying out different ones I need to get an Abby Garcia a Shimano and then I'll basically have all the all the ones I want to try and then after I get all them I'm gonna pick one from there to kind of keep with, but I really like that lose and I really like my Fluger, so I don't know which one I'm gonna decide yet. The next one is this is a Gander Mount Angular Series, the Bass Angular Series. Uh, I believe it's a 7-1, yeah, 7-1 medium heavy. Uh, it says it's made for swim baits and swim jigs, or not swim baits, spinner baits and swim jigs. Uh, I use this one mainly for my spinner baits, chatter baits. Uh, I throw a few jigs on there, not many. Um, I like those chatter baits and swim baits, so I bought that. I had that one paired with the um, Fluger Patriarch XL version, I believe. This is a wider spooled one. These are hard to find. Um, but I love this real very uh, big, holds a lot of line. You can make a nice long cast, not have to worry about spooling your reel ever. I think this is a seven to one. Yeah, yeah it's a seven one to one. Um, these rods ain't bad, but I notice if you put something too heavy on it, it's pretty flexible, has a good, good, good bend on it. But I throw three quarter uh, chatter baits on it all the time, and it handles them good. My foreman was using it last, and he put his little spin beetle on there. It doesn't throw spin beetles that good. This one um, is my 6'6 Hellbent number 8 tackle. This is a medium heavy fast. 
I had that paired with the Skeet Reese Victory 701. All right, McGill. Real. I like this. I like this real lock to the handle on it. Nice, big, and wide. But I use this one for um, throwing jigs. This one's mainly used when I'm at the bank and I want to flip a jig, throw some kind of Texas rig or something like that. Uh, right now, I got a Rage Blade tied on it. Normally I just carry a couple in my car and it's whatever I have is what I use. So. But uh, you actually, if you watch my video of me catching that, uh, my four pounder that I caught, uh, I believe it was this rod and combo right here. Next one is my other Falcon, a Buku Micro. This is a smaller version. This one's just a seven foot uh, medium action. Uh, what do I have on here? I have the Fluger Centrium, I believe. Centrion, Centrion or whatever. I don't know how to say it. Uh, this reel is nice. It's big, big bulky, but it casts the excellent reels. Amazing, drags good. I think it's only like 80 bucks. So if you're just trying to get in the bass fishing and you want a cheap, decent reel. No, I'd recommend this one. It does not have the outer um, magnetic dial. But it works good for decent, the price it is. Now this rod, I used to, I bought it to throw finesse on it. Uh, you know, drop shots, shaky heads, just wacky worms. But I found out it doesn't have a lot of backbone um, to it. So if you want to throw like a jerk bait, it does real good on this rod. Uh, shallow diver, small shallow diving crankbaits do good. Um, Something where you don't need a you know a lot of backbone to set the hook and bring the fish in. Because I, I noticed I miss a lot of fish on this because when I set the hook where it bends at, it's just not it's just not enough there to get you know a hook in there. That's all my main bait catchers that I use. Uh, like I said, I'm trying to get a couple more. Maybe Garcia, Shimano. The only ones I can think of right now, I thought there was a third one I wanted to try too, but I don't know. Uh, this is uh, my one open face that I use, um, the Ike Dude. This is the older model when they very first came out. Within like a week they came out, I went and bought this. Uh, it's the one piece. Uh, the new ones I've seen are two pieces, which I don't like because I wanted to get a newer one, but uh, with them being two pieces, I don't, I don't prefer them. This is a six foot medium. I did switch the reel out to a quantum energy just because this was a little bit better than the uh, Abby Garcia one that it came on. This one's actually getting pretty old, so I might put that, the original one back on there. But uh, I use this one now, I use this one for my drop shot in, shaky head, wacky worm, five inch cinco, something. This finesse, or if I know somebody who doesn't know how to fish that well, the bait caster, it's the loner. Cost me 40 bucks, it's not too bad. But it's a decent reel. Uh, my buddy's just not getting in, into uh, bass fishing and uh, I told him to pick one of these up, 40 bucks. Uh, Mike Iaconelli. And they're all around decent reels. Uh, my other, then uh, this bait caster, some of the older one, it's actually on a catfishing rod. Uh, that I bought Mega Cast uh, from Bass Pro, but I use this one for uh, if I go to the river, if I do my catfishing, I always bring this along, tie a little cheap spinner bait on there. Um, this thing's caught many a gar. I tie a hook on there, a little piece of ham or shrimp or whatever I'm using, flip it out there when I, I spot fish gar. So uh, on here is the, the Fluger uh, tri try down. I don't know, but this is one of my. Uh, not my very first one, but one of my first few reels that I bought, and uh, it's still going. Uh, but this one, you know, chief it breaks and breaks. I don't really care too much about it. So I just take this if I want to wade the river, or like I said, every time I go catfishing, this is always with me. You know, I'll go up to the creek, throw spinner bait, wait for the catfish or whatever. So, um, we'll see what this is. This is a uh, six six, medium heavy, fast. So it's not a bad little. Not a bad little rod. Handle spinnerbait's real good. That's normally what I throw on it. This is 
the girl's rod. She doesn't go much, but uh, this is a, I think it's a Shakespeare. No, it's a Zepco Genius. I'm guessing it's a 6.6. Six. It don't even have no words on it. Two piece. A little open face. I actually, she had one of these. Uh, but then it, I, somehow I broke the tip on it. So a couple days later, um, I was driving to work and I seen this sitting in the trash. Uh, so I stopped, I checked it out. It still has the original wrappers on it. Um, put some new line on it. The reel's in good condition, not scratched up or beat up or nothing. And uh, replaced it for free, really. I don't know why somebody threw it away. I don't know if they didn't like the fish. I don't know if somebody gave it to them and they didn't like it or what, but works good for her because she doesn't go that often until she likes it. This is one of my favorite ones. It's actually my dogs. I don't know if you can see them, but we call this the dog pull. Um, this is a stainless sticks, a sweetie stainless sticks. Um, I think it's made for ice fishing, but one of my old neighbors gave this to me. Uh, she used hers to go catfishing. She had a couple of them. Go, Mavericks. See, they want to play. Um, go. Go. See, this, it's, it's their pole. This is what they play with. But I, uh, this is my very first uh, big cast herb block. Booger Tryon. Uh, old, man. 6-3 to 1. This thing has put some time in. The drag does not work on it no more. I don't know if that is due to my fault putting it back together wrong or what, but I went ahead and retired it. it works good for them. But I got one of these uh, soft rubber practice casters from Bass Pro. Basically what I do is, is I slide that little metal ring out, cut it down, um, so when the dogs bite it, they don't hurt their teeth. Then I just wrap a little bit of electrical tape around it, use a needle, run some line through there, up to a swivel. You gotta have the swivel, because the way this twists, your line just gets all twisty, but go out in the yard, the living room, anywhere, just give this thing a little flip, and they just go nuts. Let me see if I can get them to do it. Can't really do that good with flip down the hallway right now. I need to upgrade their reel. I need to get something faster because they're getting faster at it. But yep, basically that's what I do when I'm bored. But yeah, that's my that's my arsenal that I have. You know, nothing too crazy. I keep rod socks and all of them. These, these plain single color ones are the Bass Pro ones. Not the biggest fan of those. Uh, they're all right, they work, but they slide. Uh, this one is my newest one that I bought. I think it's called a rod jacket, or a stick jacket. Um, this one's cool because you can buy them for the size, then you also buy them for, uh, how thick you want the ends open. Now this one's a little bit too small. It actually fits good, just this first eye, you gotta, kinda gotta work with it. Butter and that, um, works real good. So I think I'm gonna start just switching all my stuff over to these uh, stick jackets. Now I'm gonna keep these. You know, as I get new ones, I'll buy it. I'm not gonna go replace all these when these work just fine. I also have uh, real covers for them all. You know, I'm a believer. If you spend a lot of money in, uh, you know, the stuff that you fish with, stuff that you love, why not take care of it? A lot of people make fun of me, but hey, I'd rather protect it. Those help against your line getting nicked, your guide getting beat up. Yeah, if you would go ahead, check in the video description below. There's a video to um, my giveaway posted in there. Um, all you gotta do is like, comment, and subscribe, and you could win a um, $25 gift card either somewhere I can pick up locally and mail it to you or if you know a place that uh that I can purchase it online and send it to you via email you know the code or whatever yeah again thanks for watching and uh, comment what's your uh, favorite type of a real rod you guys like to use because I like my flugers but I'm trying to give everybody a shot right now 
Then after that, I'm going to decide on which way I want to stay going. Uh, but all right. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys later.